The trial of three former officers accused in George Floyd's death gets underway tomorrow in federal court in St. Paul. Two Tau, Thomas Lane and Jay Alexander King are accused of violating George Floyd's civil rights. Derek Chauvin pled guilty in this case last month. Esme Murphy shares what to expect in court in tonight's Talking Points. Jury selection in the federal civil rights trial of J. Alexander King, Thomas Lane, and Tutau took just one day. Judge Paul Magnuson put jury selection in overdrive by questioning the potential jurors himself. Like the jurors in the state trial of Derek Chauvin, these jurors are not being named. While the federal court is not releasing demographic information about the jurors like they did in the state case, we do know there are some big differences in this jury makeup. While the jury in Derek Chauvin's state case was half people of color, it appears that just one of the 12 jurors and one of the six alternates in this case are people of color. Both those jurors appear Asian. While five of the jurors are from Hennepin and Ramsey counties, seven are from outlying counties. But how much does the racial and geographic makeup of a jury matter, and in which side does it help? Criminal defense attorney Joe Tamburino is not affiliated with this case. He was a guest on WCCO Sunday morning. In this case, it will probably help the defense, and here's why. In outstate Minnesota, there's really not a lot of issues surrounding the police and communities, whereas in the cities, we do see that. The three defendants are expected to try and pin the blame on Derek Chauvin. Two of the former officers, Lane and King, were on the force for just days. They're expected to argue they were following orders. Former officer Tu Tao, who kept bystanders from intervening, is expected to argue he never touched George Floyd. On the other hand, the prosecution is likely to argue the two rookies helped hold George Floyd down and that Tu Tao kept bystanders, including a Minneapolis firefighter, from aiding Floyd. As May Murphy, WCCO 4 News. You can watch WCCO Sunday morning with Esme Murphy and Mike Augustinek every Sunday at 6 and at 10.30 a.m.